Hello folks, we are here in Burlington, North Carolina, and it is September 10th, here on a Saturday morning. We'll walk around and check out Burlington. So let's go! And Burlington was known as the city of company shops. So what I mean is there's a lot of textiles around here in Burlington, but also it was a railroad town. So a lot of stuff went on with the railroad, a lot of repairs, a lot of fixes, things like that. They built a lot of stuff here, but yeah, it's a big textile town at one time. So you're gonna see a lot of cool, like behind me is the hosiery factory. Let me show you that. So that big smokestack right there is May Hosiery. So yeah, the hosiery plant's right over there. I'm not sure if they're still functional, but you'll see a lot of stuff like that around Burlington. And here is the Federal Building in downtown Burlington. That's a cool symbol right there over the door for the Federal Building. But I'm gonna head down this way, kind of show you downtown Burlington. And if you can't remember where you're at, yeah, you, you just look at this wall, it kind of tells you where you're at. So if you're interested in opening up uh, a store here in Burlington, I'm sure there's availability. So as you can see right here, you got BBB Realty for lease. So look into that. A lot of these uh, places need your business. And uh, I mean, it's grown here in Burlington for sure. You got right there, a taste of love. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner right there. How to get a shot of this old uh, retail store here called Efforts. Check it out. I love the tiling. There's the front and you can see my reflection. Uh, but there, here's some uh, information on the building right there. Built in 1908. Very nice. So it shows you all the history of what's been here in this building. And it's like, I don't know, five stories? Let's take a look. Nope. Three stories. So it's not too huge. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Occupants since 1908. And then look at the, the front here of this building. Check that out. I love the stonework right here. That's pretty cool right there. Love that. Just these old buildings just have so much character. Even the alleyways are nice and clean. Love the old brick. You see the old openings here? You can see the arches all through here. You know, it looks like they've also had uh, advertisements on there too. Painted on the side. Got the ghost advertisement. You can barely see them though, but uh, yeah, a nice clean alleyway. And I love this building. Check out this architecture and the brickwork here. Don't get a train going through, because like I said, this town is known for its trains also. And Atlantic Bank and Trust Company, that's been there for a long time. That stonework is phenomenal. And the one thing I noticed about Burlington downtown, it's very pedestrian friendly. A lot of areas you can walk to easily without a lot of traffic. Of course, the parking lot here is filled. They kind of looks like they kind of brought this in more, the road here. So they kind of ease the traffic going through. But yeah, I love the ambiance right through here. So the Atlantic Bank and Trust building I just showed you here. It uh, looks like it was originally completed in September. So this month in 1929. And, uh, but yeah, it's been some other things too. But if you want to pause and read the history of this awesome building, there you go. So while you're downtown Burlington, you'll see these cool help signs tell you where everything's at. So they got a historic depot, which we're gonna hit that, and amphitheater. The old Paramount Theater and Library is to our left, and shops and dining are both left and right, just depending on what you want to do. And check this out. It's an old cow here, all made of different parts, like motor parts. And yeah, don't don't touch or get on them. Yeah, you you might catch something, but he, he looks pretty cool. There you go, Burlington Downtown Historic District, National Register of Historic Places, 1990. So yeah, this can be pretty much untouched, which is great. And I'm happy that these stores, most of them have awnings over them. So uh, as you can see, it's been raining. So you, you can keep dry. Got a used bookstore there. I might have to go in there and check that out. Check the cat out right there. Cats just sitting on top of the book sign. And in this display window, we got these Cabbage Patch dolls for $10 each. I actually wish they were open because that's actually a good price for those Cabbage Patch kids right there. 
and I love this old marquee right here on the tile. Maryland Shoes, which is now the used bookstore. I'm going to go inside and check it out. This is such a cool store. They've got a lot of different titles here. So, yeah, I definitely encourage people to come here and check out his book selection. Oh, this is pretty cool. because a lot of his classics down here. So it's three levels. So it's another entr entranceway on the other side here of the building. And then over here is where we came in on this side. And then they've got upstairs. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Check out the old floor. But yeah, they got their fantasy and sci-fi up here on the top floor. And I just love the sitting area here near the big windows. And then you can see the entire store right down there. That is so cool. And you get some of the natural light coming in. So I'm a sucker for books and I did buy a, a few here. So yeah, I like to read and I do collect books as well. So we're gonna continue our journey downtown Burlington. In another storefront here, Mabane Shoe Company. I guess it's pronounced Mabane, but now it is a custom photography shop but I love that they keep the old tile and the old name of the store trying to stay under the awning as much as possible it's a nice little drizzle rain going on you know I love capturing these old store advertisement here right here on the tile this cool storefront right here it looks like it's a music store now low vintage instrument company love the uh, display cases here outside of the store now they have this cool guitar artwork. And here's Main Street Vinyl. So if you're into collecting records, there you go, Main Street Vinyl's right here. I'm just finding all these cool, awesome stores here in downtown Burlington. Here's Burlington Women's Club Thrift Shop. So they got all kinds of vintage clothing in here, and they're open. It's Saturday in this old store. I like that they're utilizing these spaces for stuff like this. Another cool shot of Main Street right here. And uh, yeah, this is downtown. It looks beautiful here. I just love the old architecture, as I always say. And there's an Italian restaurant right there, too. And it uh, looks like there is the old train depot right there across the street. And this is where we came from back over here on this uh, wonderful Carolina rainy day here in Burlington. Let's go over here. There's some more here down this way and it's wet and across the street over here is Smitty's looks like some restaurants here uh, and also the Burlington Beer Works pretty cool yeah I gotta find something to eat soon Get, getting starving here yeah here's the old train depot and right in front of the train depot I saw this real quick and walk over here it's a little amphitheater I guess they have cool live music that's pretty neat I like how they have it designed all these trees around it but yeah, here's the old train depot. Love it. Even though I'm getting soaking wet, I love these statues here, right in front of the train depot. Look at that architecture. That's so awesome. Got the slate roof on there. And I love the awning too with the old wood. Hope the camera won't get too wet. But this is great. Love that. Yeah, the architecture, beautiful. Let's see what we got here. Erected in 1892. This has been around a while. Yeah, it's been around a long time. And I'm, I'm just trying to keep keep dry as I'm walking around the train depot here. And uh, let me go around the corner here and see what we see. And this is pretty neat right here. Like in Gibsonville, they have a caboose just like that one over there. And a, kind of a visitor center. You go in there and get pamphlets and it kind of tells you the history of the railroad which that probably does. And it looks like at one time, this is where it all happened, where all the railroad tracks used to be at one time. There is a placard over there that you can read, kind of tell you the history of the area. But it's raining pretty good. Might need to go there in that area. Check that out too, right over there. Got some cool artwork, some more cool buildings and advertisements right over there. Yeah, we're gonna check that out. So I wanted to show you the inside of the Amtrak station right here and check this out. Look at the old steamer engine here. 
and you've got this cool mock-up of the area back in uh, 1854 wow check that out that's pretty cool old Burlington right there and uh, got this train trussle looking bridge that goes over and then you get this front of this massive diesel engine right here this is pretty cool it's like a little small museum as you walk into the Amtrak station yeah, this is so cool be sure to check this out if you're ever in town and just like an airport you got your uh, train information there when the train's coming in when they're leaving yeah that's pretty neat so I wanted to show you the outside of the train station right here so where you pick up get on the train at the Burlington stop right here goes right through town and where we were earlier there's the old train station across the street and there's that uh, old caboose right over there so right where I'm at in this area is all kinds of cool older warehouses things for the trains when they came in picked up their goods and delivered their goods but I wanted to show you over here check the advertising on the wall there got the El Miro Mile Cigars got the old Coca-Cola Miro there Central Grocery Company and that must have been the Central Grocery Store one time long ago in 18 something right there this is pretty neat all back in here all kinds of cool modern day graffiti on the walls and artwork pretty cool And they have this really nice theater, the Paramount Theater right here, live performances. So they refurbished it. Maybe the Paramount Theater looks like it opened there in 1998, so it's been there a while. But I love the architecture they have here that is still going strong. And I love this little area, city area here. Enjoy your lunch. You got these lockets here, heart of downtown. So that people's names are on those lockets too. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I love this little park here. Well, do you call it a park? What do you call this? Just a sitting area maybe? Just a garden maybe? Probably garden. Yeah, it's probably called a garden. And you all know I love my coffee. So here is the Blend & Company here, established in 2014. Looks like they're kind of busy inside. Yeah, and really neat coffee shop goes all the way down this way. A lot of inside seating too. And we're going to head down here and check out more of downtown Burlington. And along here, they've got all these nice little quaint shops. Bella's House, consignment furniture, and more. Might have to check that out. But down here, I think there's a food court. So they have a bunch of different choices of food. But there's so much shopping and eateries down this one street. I'll show you where we came from. We came from up this way and came down this way. I mean, even on a rainy day, a lot of activity going on down here and okay there's your i think that's your food court over there right there burlington food hall is what it's called so if you're looking for more things to choose from for eating right there you got outside eating too i'm gonna go check that out but yeah i'm, I'm getting kind of kind of hungry and i decided to stop here at go burritos cool place yeah, this is pretty neat right here. And they get a bar over here too. But uh, yeah, check out the size of that burrito. That thing's huge. Had to open it up so you guys could see it. But yeah, I'm going to probably have to uh, use a knife and fork for this thing. This, yeah, this thing's not going to fit in my mouth. There's no way. So it kind of broke up on me and uh, I ate all the inside. The steak was awesome. Everything was great. But yeah, I'm full 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 but i highly recommend this restaurant and in the same building where i got my burrito they got a little japanese place here a little bistro here some desserts here pretty cool yeah straight behind the burrito restaurant so the restaurants right here in the burlington food hall so yeah very cool yep oh train's going by He's blowing his horn. Yeah, yeah, outside eating here, but today's not a great day to be sitting outside. I want to show this mural to you over here too. And right there it says, dance it out. 
yeah they're dancing all right that's pretty cool so i have to take you inside here i just spoke to brenda inside they've been here for nine years here in downtown burlington and for its size it's small but as it says treasures and collectibles i've already when i walked in there i mean i've already found stuff that i'm interested in getting so and there's your hours right here and again in the description i'll put all their information how to find them but yeah i just want to show you the inside of this awesome store and yeah as soon as you walk in check all this happy collectible goodness all through here this is fantastic i mean there's you gotta look carefully because there's a lot of trinkets too a lot of collectibles mixed in check that out we're gonna walk around this entire store and you've got to look down each aisle carefully because you're going to find like china silverware little trinkets and statues these are awesome but yeah so much to look at just through here check that doll out pretty cool but yeah so much to see you got these cool vintage license plates here these are great collectibles too especially if you're out of country you come in the states take home a piece of americana right there and a license plate and yep, they got some really cool little toys here too. You'll find those all throughout the store. And got clear glass here, 50% off. So you will find really cool deals here in this store. It's awesome. I've already seen a couple of things I want to pick up. They got videos, they got old vintage tools, clay pottery old bottles just about a little bit of everything all through here and in the description i'll have all the information how to find this awesome store and uh, if you need to call them things like that and want more information if you're in town and where they're located i'll have all the information for you too so cool got some of the vintage uh signs there too but yeah again it's small but it's packed with all kinds of neat little collectibles all through here. Just want to give you a tour of this door. Oh yeah, all kinds of cool vintage tools. Look at those old fans up there too. And that old saw. More license plates. And back here in the back, we have some cool deals all through here. Oh, the Halloween stuff over there too. Check that out. The old pot. <laughs> That cat there, the cat's tail is the uh, handle. That's pretty neat. But these are awesome. But yeah, oh, that little, poor little fairy is a skeleton now. Just trapped in that cage. But yeah, you'll find some cool clearance deals back here in the back. One to three bucks each. So there's a lull in the rain right now. So hopefully we won't get rained on while we're down here. And that's a pretty cool building right there called occasions they were voted the best caterers of the year yeah that is just so awesome it almost looks like an old theater now that building's pretty cool studebaker we got hudson's and packards used to be an old uh car lot right there it looks like they used to display the cars in the window there it says general store now at the top there but that's i love this building yeah especially with the old car makers uh signs at the top the old Hudson, Studebaker, and Packard. Very cool. Well, I wanted to thank you for joining me on this trip to Burlington, North Carolina. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, it, it rained pretty good and uh, couldn't show you a lot of the outside. It was pretty neat though. Seen all the little shops and tons of restaurants also. And uh, but I really enjoyed Burlington. I hope you find time to go by there and see this town. It's got a lot to offer too been a lot of fun today. All right, guys, you take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.